I didn't get to watch SmackDown, but I did watch Rampage. Um, and the the Owen Cup tournament is is pretty intriguing because they have the Jokers, and I, like people are you know trying to think who could the Joker be, and someone said. You know, what if it's Harry Smith because of his tie to the Hart family? You know what? That's not the worst idea. I hadn't really thought about Harry Smith. Um, yeah, it's not the worst idea. I don't know. I mean, um, I was thinking Gargano or Claudio, you know, as 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 one. And then on the women's side, Athena was like would be my choice. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, Candice Gargano, obviously. Um, her contract ended so she could go, but she, you know, gave birth pretty recently. It would seem quick, very, very quick. I mean, I don't expect it to be her. I'm not, you know, legally she can legally she can be on the show Wednesday night. I mean, so, you know, whatever. But um, um, it was interesting because I know months ago, you know, that like she, you know, her contract ended, I believe, April 30th. But, you know, because she's been gone due to pregnancy, I know that, like, they felt that WWE is going to freeze it. But I guess WWE felt that, you know, if it came out, and it would, you know, that they were freezing it over that if she wanted to leave, that may have been one of those stories that they just didn't want. You know what I mean? Like, there's, it's one thing with, you know, even though they did it with Danielson, um, and they've done it with so many other people, it's like, you know, oh, they, they did it with... um you know, FTR and they did it with um, Brody Lee and they did it with Danielson forever. Um, and, and every guy who's been injured for the most part. Um, but I guess that they just felt that in that case, that would be one that from a publicity standpoint would probably not do well. So they did not freeze her deal and she is a free agent. So, um, you know what I, I would think that, you know, I mean, it should certainly be someone under consideration, but uh, it feels like it's too. I mean, you know, I don't know, but if it feels like it's too soon for her for the men's side, the Joker, if it's don't you think that the Joker kind of has to at least go into the finals? And, and could you see if it was Claudio so then, or, or, or Gargano to would they be in, in that in that last matchup for for the winner? Well. I figure Adam Cole is going to the finals. Okay. That's just my guess looking at the bracketing. I think he beat Stax on Wednesday and then um, Darby. Darby or, or um, Jeff Hardy. Yeah. Um, so, but on the other side, you know, it's like, does Jay Lethal take out Joe? Probably, maybe to get, gets him out of there. Um, Ray Phoenix, you know, Death Triangle probably takes him. I mean, um, um, House of Black maybe takes him out. So then you're left with the Joker guy. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've I've also heard people wonder if where Miro is. So there's there's Miro Miro Miro, Miro Miro was hurt, but I mean he may be ready to come back. And um, you know, yeah. I mean, you know, if he's if he's ready, um, it's possible. Uh, even though uh, I think you and Brian will sort of recap Rampage in, in detail uh, on the next show, but what did you what did you think of Rampage? Like from from like just if I wanted to watch an hour of pro wrestling, I really liked that show. But if I the didn't re- if I didn't know that pro wrestling was on and someone said, "Hey, here are the matches," I don't know if I would have necessarily decided to watch that show. But I'm I'm glad that I did because I enjoyed it. The wrestling was very good on that show. Um, Takeshita, I thought looked good. I thought he looked like uh, someone they could do more with. Um, I was very impressed. I thought Tony Storm looked the best I've seen her in a long time. Jamie Hayter, probably her best outing as well. So that tag match was good. Riho and um, Yuka Sakazaki, I thought was very good. Riho um, is, and, you know, it's like it's nobody's fault. She was she's been hurt since January. So that's why she hasn't been on. She had a hell of a match with Britt Baker in January. She comes back and has a hell of a match here. And, um, you know, uh, she's just someone who who can, you know, like when, when Riho and Yuka Sakazaki started, I mean, they're like, you got to remember, it's like probably, who boy, local time. Um, close to 11, right? When, when they go in the ring after that, 
you know, you know, they're after that Mercedes Martinez match where you're thinking like, we just saw a women's match. And then we saw another women's match with its women's tag, which was a good match. Uh, but still, you know, it's like now another women's match with Yuka Sakazaki hasn't been on TV in forever. And, you know, Riho's got some popularity, but still, you know, but they really got the crowd going. They did a really good job there. So, um, yeah, I, I thought, um, you know, the hook, I, I thought it was a nice, it was, I thought it was a good one hour show and, um, you know, but, but very good wrestling. And um, I'm, I mean, definitely from the women's tournament standpoint, that tag match made me look and just go, you know, this women's tournament, there, there might be some really good stuff in there, you know, with, with, with hater and with storm, you know, I was always a big, big fan of Tony storm and she just didn't do anything for a long time. Some of which was because she was iced forever. And some of which on the main roster, they really didn't give her a shot. And then as soon as they were starting to give her a shot in that Charlotte feud, it was so obvious that she was just there to feed Charlotte and not really get anything out of it at all for her. She was an opponent and then she walked out on them, but it wasn't like, I don't know if it was whatever it was, but she was never put in a position to really look good. And then here it's like, oh man, you know, so, I mean, I remember her from years ago when I thought that she was, I thought she was going to be it. Like, I thought that like, if, you know, she was going to be like one of the three biggest stars in women's wrestling at some point, you know, two years ago. I would have thought like, you know, if you've asked me four years ago, I would have said in two years, she'll be one of the top three, four stars in WWE in women's wrestling. It certainly didn't happen. And then you start thinking like, well, you know, is, 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 is her mentality different now than it was then, you know, people change and everything, you lose your enthusiasm. And she certainly appeared to do that. Um, but maybe she's got it back or whatever, but you know, she's, she's very, um, she's very good, very marketable and everything. So maybe there's, you know, you know, um, if she gets a shot that she could, uh, she could really bolster that. And Jamie Hader, Jamie Hader looks good in that look in that match. Britt Baker's a star. So, um, it's looking, you know, Riho. So that, that tournament looks all right, you know, even, even maybe even good. So we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I mean, um, yeah, you know, I wasn't really like the tournament to me was it's, you know, I don't know. I mean, I, 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 I thought it could be good, but I'm, I'm more optimistic about it after watching uh, the, the Friday night show, the Friday afternoon show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio, we got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 audio shows at your fingertips.